thing. What do we need? What materials do we need? Okay. Tell them, huh? Well, today what we're doing, because we know that everybody is home and it's very difficult to be home sometimes with your brothers and your sisters and you get a little bored and your daughters and mothers mm -hmm. and we're going to make something that's going to relax you and calm you down and take you away from a little bit of the stress that's going on outside. Yeah, sometimes when I'm home and you're bothering me. I'm bothering you? Yeah, uh -huh. and I bother you too. But sometimes, <laughs> but sometimes I just need somebody to just relax me and take my brain off of things. Absolutely. So what so do we what need? we're going to do is today we're going to make calming jars. Now, okay. some of you might have made them before. Some of you may not have made them. I don't even know what that is. It's a jar that when we make it and it's complete, we can look at it and watch what it does and it will calm us down. And like Morgan said, take our mind off of everything that's going on around us. Totally. So what do we need, Ma? So this is what we need. First, obviously, you need some type of a jar. So you can use a mason jar. You can use a juice jar. You can even use a water jar. Here. There you oh, go. Oh, oh, you're one of these. Yeah. But the first thing you have to do is pick your jar and make sure that you take whatever label is on the jar off of the jar so you can see through it. And you can see all the magic that's going to happen through the jar. If you don't have a jar yet, or you have I'm going to leave your jar. Everybody. I'm going to mute everyone. Just give me one second because they keep on muting themselves. So we're going to okay. mute everyone and then we're going to go over the rules again. One Got second. it. Okay. Okay. Okay, everyone. So please, please, please do not unmute yourselves. You have to stay on mute, which means we cannot hear you. So if you have a question, you type it in the chat box because if you unmute yourselves, the screen switches and we see you and we hear you and it's very distracting to everybody else. Um, so you should be able to hear me and you should be able to hear Alice and Morgan. Um, somebody is raising their hand. Hold on one second. Yes. What's your question? Why are you raising um, your hand? Do you have a question? Where, where do you get the chat box? Because I don't know how to chat. The bottom. There's a little. Okay, well then you can just raise your hand. But right That's now, a good question. I don't know. You already have good to go. All right, Morgan, take it away. Okay, so like we said, the first you, step. The first step is you need something to put all of the things in, right? So, like Ma said you need a jar maybe a mason jar maybe a water bottle or maybe like a juice bottle or something if you don't have one right now that's okay go get it we'll wait if you have one give me a thumbs up we need to know that everybody's ready oh i got i got a, thumbs got up. a lot of thumbs up okay hold on hold on right. thumbs, up, thumbs up okay great fantastic you guys are very prepared and if they don't have one, they can just watch. Okay. Totally. And then they can watch it again later and gather the materials that they need. And do it later. That's a great idea. Okay, what else do we need? So the next thing that we need is some type of stuff, stuff to put in the jar. I have a little bit of glitter. Cool. I don't know if you have glitter. I also have beads. Wait, let me hear that again. We have all different color beads, and the more colors that you use, the better. Okay. If you don't have that, 
you might have rhinestones. Maybe. What about Lego pieces or like so? Well, you know else? what, Morgan? If you wanted, you could take a little toy car. Hopefully, it's a little smaller than this, so it fits into the jar. Okay. And you can put this in the jar. You can put in Lego pieces, but you have to remember something very, very important. Okay, hold on, I'm remembering. Remember that once you put it into your jar and you close the lid, that's where it's gonna live. So I can never play with it again? You could never take it out of the jar again. Okay. It's never coming out. What? But it's you never just coming said, out. It's never, coming, it's never coming, coming out. No. It's in forever. So if you need to gather up some things to put in your jar, then we could wait another oh, wait. few minutes. I have an idea. Yes. I need a Lego piece. I'm going to go get it. You're going to get the, a Lego piece. I think. Okay. So before wait, wait, you wait. leave, I'm going to tell you what else we need. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. So you will also need, if you have it, some type of baby oil. If you don't have oil, that's okay. You can use any kind of clear oil. And we're only going to use a little bit of this. The next thing that you're going to need is obviously water. And when it comes time to put the water into the jars, you can just go to the sink when it's that time and fill it up at the kitchen sink. Okay, got Hey, Alice. Alice. Yes. Yes. They would like to know that can they use canola oil or is it better to just skip it if it's a food oil and just. I think it's better to skip it. Got because it. sometimes when you use cooking oil, it changes the color and things in the jar doesn't move as well. Okay, so if you have baby oil, use that. If you don't, then just water. Just water is fine. Also, uh, we, we heard soap works, but, but don't do it yet. But we heard. We're going to we try it maybe gonna, later. We're going to test a hypothesis like science. We're going to maybe, if you're just using water, put a little bit of dish soap in it and maybe that'll help look i got a guy i got a guy whoa she's got a piece. guy okay is that gonna fit in your bottle i'm not sure but i'm gonna try okay are we ready are we ready thumbs up okay oh there's something else that you might need oh i have a piece of cardboard here you can use a piece of plain paper or anything that you have in the house and we are going to make what's called a funnel. Who knows what a funnel is? I do. Well, Why? I'm gonna show you what we do with this. Okay. We're going to take the corner and roll it. Roll it, 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 all the way until it looks like this. Why do I need that though? We need a funnel because if we're using a jar, or a bottle that's really small at the top, we put the funnel inside like this. Then when we put our glitter or all the things that we wanna put in, we put it through the top. It doesn't so it spill. goes right into the jar and we don't get glitter like, and things all over the table. Like I did earlier. Like Alex, we have a question. Yes. One of the children would like to know if they have food coloring, can they use that? Absolutely. We have food coloring, if you would like to use that as well. That changes the color of the water, and then it's cool. It's, very, cool. it's very cool. It's cool anyways, though. But that's going to be our last step. Okay. Should we get started? Are you guys ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're totally ready. Oh, I see. Every totally the b girls at the the b girls on my screen are totally ready who else did, is ready they did this okay thumbs up i have okay. my i have my jar i'm going to use the mason jar and we're both going to do this together okay so i'm going to take the lid off got it and i don't think i need to use the funnel only because the lid 
when it came off, left this big opening. So I could just pour whatever I want right into there. Mine's but little. Morgan might need the okay. funnel. Can I use the funnel, Mom? You want to show them how to roll it up again? Oh, yeah. Let's... Who's using a funnel? <sighs> Anybody? Okay. There a couple are... of them. Yeah. I, see a couple. I don't have glitter at home, but my mom has glitter. I so... always have glitter. <laughs> okay. I'm using the funnel, Ma. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to put in, who has glitter? Put the stuff in your jar, right? You can put the glitter in. What you want to do is sprinkle it. I'm going to use some red. Morgan, what color are you using? Silver. I'm going to put that stuff. I'm spilling it a little, but that's okay. I'm going to put red. Okay. I'm putting the stuff. A lot or a little, Ma? Well, uh, you could put as much as you want. Cool. I'm gonna put a little more then. Me too. Okay. Can I put beads and stuff? Then, yes, you can put beads. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some rhinestones. Cool. Okay. I so I'm just gonna, gonna take it with my hand. <gasps> uh oh. Bummer. Maybe it'll fit in mine. Oh. I'm gonna put some rhinestones in mine. Who has rhinestones? I oh, see Haley, hands up. Haley raised her hand. She's I'm going to put two scoops of rhinestones in. Can I put beads? Hey, everyone, if you want to type in the chat box and tell us what you're using, that'd be cool. Bella's using Orbeez, and that's a great oh, idea. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. It's going to grow. They're going to grow. Maybe she's just only putting in a little bit. But they're still going to grow because they're Orbeez. Yeah. 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 And so if you're cool. using Orbeez, only put a little bit because otherwise it's going to expand in the bottle. And then what? And Who then knows? nothing's going to move around. And you want everything in the bottle to be moving. Okay. Well, I put my beads. Okay. So what Morgan sequins. used. Sequins. <gasps> Wait a minute. I do have sequins. I saw people wrote sequins and buttons. And of course, my mom has sequins. Here's the sequins. Did you want to use them, Morgan? I do. I want a little bit. Sprinkles. Okay. So I have my stuff in my jar. And I have mine in but my jar. But it's only a little bit. It's okay. Should I do a little more? You can put a little more if you have a bigger jar. Okay. If you have a smaller jar, then you can leave it the way it is. Whatever you want to put in there. Okay. Show us your jars after you put the stuff inside. This is mine. Can I put my Lego guy in there? Put your Lego guy in, Morgan. Let's see what happens. Whoa, he's in. Okay, let's see. Can we fit the car in yours? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. We got the car in Morgan's. Whoa. How cool is that? Actually, <laughs> it's funny, right? Message so what, what is everybody bottle. putting in? What are you putting in? Show us Anything your special besides? Oh, I see people are using the funnel. Does it work well? Oh. Yeah, so far they're using MathLink cubes, colored cool. sand, nice. Legos, dinosaurs. Whoa! So cool. I wish I had a mini dinosaur to Glitter, put. beads, perler beads. Color beads. Um, oh, that's great. Tin foil, orbeez. Oh. Um, a bunch of people are asking if paint would work. I wouldn't put paint in there because it'll color the jar. Um, yes, but it will. you could try it if you really wanted to. This is an experiment, so you can try it, but can I put coffee in mine? Not yet. Not coffee, okay. no. But you could put the food coloring later. Wait. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So I got this stuff. We got all our stuff. Who's ready for the next step? I'm ready. Show me thumbs up. Thumbs I'm up so if ready. you're ready. If not, we'll wait a few minutes. Okay. We're 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 getting there. Oh, we're... I love Liam's background, by the way. That's what our jars are gonna look like. Okay. All those colors. What's next? Are we ready? Okay, next. Water. Oh. So I'm going to use this. If you need to go to the sink and use water, let me show, show you. Show us first. On your bottle, you're going to put the water in only about up to here and leave about an inch. Who knows what an inch looks like? Okay, if you don't, then if you take your thumb like this and measure, 
you're going to put it upside down like this and you'll see where it ends got it and you put the water right up to where it okay ends. so not all the way full no not now okay so you can so go show get it, your show water us first. I'll, I'll hold it for you and you can show us how uh, okay how much to pour ready watch here we go okay okay there okay. we go so it's not all the way to the top oh it's already moving it's already moving. see it moving okay i'm gonna go to the sink if you need to go to the sink and get water you can go now we'll be back go i'll be right back okay it is moving our little man is up on the top right now but he'll move around later can you see him? Morgan, did you get the water? I got the water. A lot Whoa, of my glitter. Look at Morgan. A lot of my glitter is at the top, but that's okay, right, Ma? That's okay because okay. I think that when we put the oil in or the soap, then it will move around and it'll come down as we turn the jars upside down. Got it. So the next step that we're going to do is if you have oil, we're going to put some oil. Who has oil? Oh, Samantha's so ready. Isabel has oil. Okay. Okay. So. Wait, but doesn't a little go a long way, Ma? Yes, we only need a little bit of oil. And my suggestion is to just probably put about five drops okay. of oil into the jar right into the jar so i'm gonna do mine one two three four five okay morgan do you want some yeah i'm gonna do mine too okay mine's a little drippy it's okay if it's a little more it's fine if it's a little less it's fine okay now if hey, you Alice. oh sorry hey alice um they're yes. wondering if they're using soap how many drops of soap same thing uh we're going to use probably two or three drops of soap morgan or do like you want to get the soap a little squirt yeah yeah or a little squirt yeah so lit and what the what the soap does it's like the activator like in science and it also separates the glitter if you use glitter so it doesn't all watch, stick watch, watch. together watch what happens wow whoa see it's all falling down to the bottom watch whoa we haven't even really done anything yet but can, but can the, i get some soap the soap is the activator watch hold it up here ma okay ready watch i'm gonna pour a little soap into ma's there it goes. That's all we need. Okay, watch. Watch what happens. See if anything happens. Hmm. Here it goes. Whoa. Hold it over here. Can you see it? A little. But that's okay. Okay. What's next? Next is to take some more water. Got and it. We're going to fill it almost to the top of the jar. Ma. When I shake mine a little, yeah. like when I wiggle it. Want, what if we want food dye in there? When does that come? It's, it's coming. It's going to happen it. so soon. Okay. But look, Ma, when I shake mine a little, yeah, it moves. It, it's going to move. If you shake it, everybody pick it up before we and put like the rest wiggle of the water. And wiggle it just a little bit. And then look at it. Can you see these? See how it's moving? Okay. So now we're going to get a little bit more water. Ready? Ready. I'm not gonna go all the way to the top, but I'm going to go to the rim, which is right here. Can you see that? Got it. Okay. Fill it up a little. I'm going to go back to the sink. I'll be right back. Okay, if you have to go to the sink, go ahead and fill it up. Ma, when I fill it up? 
What? It's like, it's everything's moving in there. It's supposed to be. Look at it. One thing that's really special about these jars is if you put it in the sunlight and the sun hits it, it's really shiny and sparkly. Look at that one. I know, I see it. Wow, that's Aaron's. <gasps> so cool. So cool. So cool. Let's okay. see what you have so far. Wait. Oh, Haley, I see Haley's. I see Allie's. Wow. Audrey, so cool, Audrey. Amazing. Whoa. Oh, mine's still moving. Look who that is, Ma. Oh, hi. Zoe. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we're ready. Can, oh. I, can we add the food dye? Yes, we, we can, but it? I want to show you something. What? My bottle has just been sitting and it's still moving without us doing anything. Or you just wiggled it a little. I did wiggle it. Okay. Who has food dye? I only have food dye because my mom has food dye. Okay. So pick the color that you want. Morgan, do you want to use some? Mm, yes, I please. think yours looks good without it. But Thanks. But I'm going to do, do green. Okay. I think I'm going to do oh. red because I have red. Haley's ready too. I see oh. you. I see you, girl. I see you. <laughs> I have red glitter. How many? You need one drop. So put your jar down on the table. Got it. And put one drop and watch what happens. Okay, just one? One drop. Okay, ready? Whoa. Whoa! And watch it go down. Is that cool? Whoa. I don't even have to do anything and it's doing a thing. Okay, I know. you do yours, Mom. I'm gonna do mine. Ready? My guy's floating. I know. One drop. Here it goes. Whoa. Can you see it? I can totally see it. Can I do one more? Sure. Okay. Okay. One more. Wow. That's fun. Okay. Okay. Last step, guys. Take your lid. You're going to cover your jar and make it as tight as you can. My jar's a little leaky, but if your jar might be a little leaky, then after we test it, you can ask mom or dad or whoever's home with you just to glue it with any kind of glue around the edge of the top so it doesn't leak. Got it. Okay, if, wait, if, I need to get a napkin. Here. Oh. Thanks, Mom. If you think your jar might leak, first of all, close it really tight, really tight. But if you think your jar might leak, which I think Morgan's might leak because of the type of it's moving. lid. It's moving. It is moving. Okay. Then you're going to take a napkin and hold it over the top. Got it. We're going to pick up our jars. I'm going to turn them over, give them a little shake. And put it down. And oh. put it down. Wow. Look what's happening. Everything. Your man is still at the top. I know. Everything's moving around in there. Now let's turn Slowly. it back over. Ready? One more time. Watch it go down. Slowly go down. And everything's moving. So cool. So when you feel a little anxious and a little stressed and you want to calm down a little bit and maybe not watch TV or not play a video game or and not just, deal with your ma and not deal with your brothers and sisters <laughs> or your children. You don't have children. You are the children. But mom and dads and people are there. Absolutely. When you have a house full and you want a little quiet time for yourself, then you can take your jar maybe go into your room or a place where it's nice and quiet and just turn it over and sit and watch it. You know what also helps mom? What? Is if I think like positive thoughts. Absolutely. Like while I'm looking at the jar and it calms my mind, I also like positive self-talk. Like telling myself that like I am smart and I am strong 
and I am loved and I'm loving. Absolutely. And then I have my family and friends and it's helpful. Absolutely. Positive self-talk, you know? Does anyone else out there do positive self-talk? What's that called? Is there a word for that? Positive self-talk. And how do you do that in your mind? You know, sometimes my mind like gets crazy. Right. But I, I, I remind myself and I calm my mind by focusing on positive things, like how much I'm grateful for my strong body and my smart mind and my loving heart. And the people around you. Yeah, like you. Like you. But even though <laughs> we can't be around our friends, like really close right now, we could still have a, a beautiful community to be part of. And you can always FaceTime friends or call them on the phone and check in and see how they're doing. Yep. Because everybody's home and everybody's doing the same thing. But right now we're doing this and this is so cool. So it over cool. again. Give it a little shake. Whoa, mom. Morgan. 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 Yeah. yeah. Know, What's your idea, Ash? So ever I'm on gallery view and I can see everybody and all their little jars. And there's so many friends in here. There's like 85 kids making this project right now. So I'm wow. thinking if everybody switches from speaker view to gallery view, you'll you be all, able to see all the projects. All yes. of the jars? How cool. Wait, hold on. Tell us, Ashley, how do we do that? At the top of your screen, push it to gallery view so that you see all the little boxes of all the kids. Listen, friends, on the top right corner of your screen, take your mouse or your cursor and press it so you can see all the tiny little boxes of all the friends. Moms and dads and nannies and friends, help us out. And, and now we're all in tiny, tiny little boxes. And, and if you click, oh, look at those jars. Take your jar and put it right in front of the camera so everyone can see it. And on the count of three, Let's flip them over slowly. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa. Wow. Watch the jar. Watch everything fall slowly to the other side. So wow. cool. So cool. Mine's a little drippy. Hi, Elizabeth. So what are you going to do because it's drippy? I, I use a napkin, but I, I dripped a little. But that's okay. I think I'm going to ask, can you help me glue it? We'll glue it later. Okay. Absolutely. You Thanks. might want to ask mom or dad or nanny or whoever's there to help you glue the top on so it doesn't leak. Mine's a little drippy. That's okay. Green, green drippy. And Morgan's car so is doing gonna, really well in there. I'm going to unmute everybody so we'll be able to. Oh, look at that one. So yeah, look at Rachel. It doesn't feel slow, but when you look at it, oh, Haley, yes, girl. Yes. <laughs> I see you. But when, so it doesn't feel slow, but when you look at it for a long time, it's, it's slow. It's slow. It calms my mind and body. Look at all the different colors that everybody used as well. It's still wow. drippy. It's still drippy. I need your help to glue it. Okay. Thanks, we'll glue Mom. Do you want to glue it now? No, when we're done. Okay. okay. So okay. great. We're gonna take a minute and we're gonna unmute everybody, so we'll, you'll all be able to hear each other in just a moment. And I would like you to do two things. The first thing is say thank you to Morgan and Alice, and the second thing is you can say hi or bye or what's up to all your friends. So I'm unmuting. Wait, her name's Alice? Or Ma. Ma. Or Ma. Just... <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. It's happening. We can hear you. Thank you. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Hi. 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 That was amazing. I hope you guys had the best. Bye.
Um, just so you know, tomorrow we're doing cooking. And if you want to participate in cooking, you, ha you have to have a parent there. It's for kids and parents or kids and adults together. Um, I have an adult. Can we cook? Yeah, you, could, you could bring Ma. Okay. Okay. Um, and uh, the ingredients were on the flyer that all of your parents already have. If they need another copy of it, I'm for um, the ingredient list again. And that's it. We're done. Ashley, Ashley, I didn't hear what you said. I'm sorry. One more time. Oh, tomorrow we're doing cooking. Um, if you want to participate in cooking, the ingredients were listed in the um, in the flyer that all of your parents got emailed. If they need another copy of it, I just put my email address in the chat box. Um, so uh, they can ask for another one. Um, and if you're doing cooking tomorrow, you have to have to have to have an adult with you because we want to be safe in the kitchen. So Absolutely. a mom, a dad, uh, anybody, whoever's in your house, um, we are cooking peach cobbler parfaits and agua fresca. Ooh, Ooh. I'm going to do that. Got it. Got, Got it. it. Thank you for joining us today. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. And you know what? I, I was the girl that did yoga. And I was the one on the magic. And I'm going to be here all week. So I can't wait to see everybody. I'm going to make another one. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Hi, Liz. Seriously, let's do it. Okay, bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you.